Good evening, everyone. Thank you uh, to Mr. Nico Lahoud, Honorable District Attorney, and all of you for being here tonight. If you look around, you see a conglomerate of talent. We have artists, we have models, we have mus musicians, we have extremely talented people in the mental health field. We have friends that we love and that are extremely committed to providing and caring for the loved ones with mental health issues. Uh, or many, or they are aware of how painful they can be. And because of that, they are here. And all our uh, board members are here because of that, to support us and to support people that is struggling with mood disorders like bipolar disorder or mental depression. As well as uh, our, think about our active duty military that come back from combat with PTSD, post-traumatic disorder disorder. So I'm, I'm here to tell you that, unfortunately, despite all that we do to help our troops with PTSD, about half of them is still symptomatic. They still have symptoms that need to be treated. And still they, have in, in, they are unable to perform the duties but despite that, they, they will go in another tour, and another tour that will lead to additional symptoms for which we don't have treatments. So the reason for us to be here tonight is for us to be able to develop those and test those new alternatives and the additional ways to support them and to improve their uh, quality of life. We have been fortunate to recently bring one of those technologies to the hospital where we work. That is Laura Ridge Treatment Center. We were able to set up the first imaging-based, robotically delivered, transcranial magnetic simulation system. And we're going to use that machine to improve the care of our active duty military with post-traumatic stress disorder. We are also going to use that instrument to help those, any, any of us, or any civilians, any of our friends, family members that are struggling with depression. And about 30% of, 30 of Americans at any given point may develop depre clinical depression. As, as Nico said, we are not talking about feeling sad, we're talking about the, the, the feelings of or the lack, complete lack of energy that prevents you from doing anything and lead, lead you to stay in bed for days in a row. We're talking about individuals that every medication that we have available is not sufficient to help them to go on with their lives. So for them, we have treatments that can help. And one of those treatments also, we are trying to improve and develop further, and that is called ketamine, ketamine infusions that are able to accelerate the recovery. And reco what we mean by recovery and what our focus is, recovery means individuals are able to come back to life, are able to enjoy life, and are able to function. And those are the treatments that we are looking for. Unfortunately, our state, for those of you that don't know, our beautiful state of Texas, is number 50 in terms of funding for mental health. So we are here tonight because we need an additional help to be able to help the people that we care for, our active duty military, our friends, family members. We need the funds to be able to develop the, tre the treatments that are going to help them. And both, some of the more, most advanced treatments, and please go to our website, firstmd.org, you were able to see some of the work that we are doing. To be able to help them, we need your support. And part of that is you being here tonight, and we appreciate it. <laughs> now, I would like to introduce a person that I had met recently, but I have become very, very interested in continue working and getting to know his work 
and expanding our collaboration with our, our foundation. Mr. Elio Garza is the editor and founder of Texas MD. And when we first met, the conversation that we had was about how we can increase awareness about mental health. Everything that I just told you a minute ago, how we can make it where everyone, every one of you, as well as uh, providers in the field of medicine, which is very broad, how can we make them aware of what we're trying to accomplish? And Elliot, who you, many of you may know as the previous uh, editor and founder of uh, Inside Magazine, he has an amazing vision. And he was able to realize that what we need is the power that he has behind him to communicate, to make aware, to make all of you and more and across the state and beyond people aware the mental health struggles as well as the developments in mental health, mental health research, new treatments, new improvements. And he believed in our foundation and for that we'll be extremely always appreciative. And we are inviting him tonight <clears throat> to give us some words and to share with him, to share with us his vision. And it's a vision where media is going to increase awareness about mental health issues. So please join me to receive Mr. Elliot Garson. 